Hey guys, what's up? No, I'm not in a new location. This is how my room always looks. Anyway, I can be comfortable with you guys, right? Alright, so I'm just gonna tell you this story about how I got here to where I am, which you probably don't know unless this is not your first time watching this video or unless you skip to the part where I tell you miraculously or unless your friend told you. Actually, there are many ways you can find out where I am right now. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got here. I flew around on airplanes a few times now and I have to say that this could be the worst experience that I've ever had. First of all, they kind of changed their policies a little bit. If you've been on an airplane recently, you've probably noticed that if you have computers, you have to remove them from your bag in the scanning process now. So me and myself, I bring a bag stuffed full of computers. Pretty much, I got two laptops and an iPad. And an iPad counts as a computer to these people. So, so I had to undo my bag, take out my two laptops and then my iPad. And not only did I have to do this, I had to do it again on the connecting flight. That's just too much, man. Removing and putting them back, because it's a tightly packed bag. I didn't expect to remove anything from it until I got to where I was going. Anyway, the second time, I did the same thing again. And this time, when they scanned the backpack that I also had, they noticed that I had many a cable in there. So they asked me, do you have any wires? I was like, what? And they were like, do you have any cables in your bag? I was like, oh yeah, yeah I got charges. So they said, open the bag. I opened it. They're being very cautious, by the way. I think they, did they think I was a bomber? Like, I unzipped the bag too fast and boom! Now, nah. anyway, she told me to open the bag, so I opened the bag and then she took out my camera. She was like, what's this? And I was like, it's my camera. And she said, turn it on. So I turned it on. Mind you, the lens wasn't on. So she looked like, she looked through it. She was like, why is it black? And I was like, uh, the lens cap. So I took the lens cap off and she took it and she put it somewhere. And then she looked through the camera and then she, she said, where's the lens? And I, I gave her the lens, she took off the lens cap from the lens and blah, blah, blah. And then she looked through the lens and I'm like, is, are you going to find a bomb in my lens? Like. Come on, man, that's, that's a bit excessive, don't you think? Because this didn't happen last time I was on a plane. So they did something happen in airplanes recently because policies have changed. Policies have changed. Anyway, after she looks through my lens, she, she puts the stuff back in my bag and I noticed that the lens cap that was on my unlensed camera is gone. And I'm like, oh my. Now she lost my lens. So I'm there for five minutes looking for my lens cap and it ended up in my bag just chilling. <laughs> And at this point, I was very annoyed at the whole system, man. It was just, it was just not fun. And to top it off, that wasn't even the end of the bad experiences. After that, we had to wait for like 20 minutes to get a, a taxi. They said it would take seven minutes, but it took like half an hour. They say half an hour. I said 20 minutes before, half an hour. They say it took half an hour for the taxi to get here. And we were driven to the location where we would get our hire. But it turns out that the taxi we were driving in is the car that we rented. And this car, if I'm going to be honest, is a piece of not so good stuff. Basically, it's just damaged, like the whole left door is just broken, like on the interior, it's just broken. And, and they expected us not to notice that, like really. And I'm, I'm just thinking how much damage have we not seen that they're going to try and spring on us though. Because that's, that's a dodgy place. It's not a bit fishy, if you know what I mean. Like, to me, it didn't seem quite right, the whole process. So anyway, we get here, right? And after the terrible flying experience and the terrible car hire experience, it's a shame that the accommodation had to be really quite nice actually. Actually, there is one thing that I don't like about this accommodation. Let me show you, come on. This way folks. Now can someone please explain to me, what is this? Yeah, but other than that, this place is pretty cool. Come in next time, apartment tour. Stay tuned. So I'm here, uh, I'm just gonna tell you where I am now. I'm in Turkey, pit stains. But I'd be sweating. I didn't turn on the air conditioning because, you know, if we use too much electricity, we have to pay for it. So, kind of stingy. Anyway, I'm in Turkey right now. And so far, the accommodation is pretty much the only nice thing. I'm not trying to say anything bad about Turkey. That's about it. I'm in Turkey right now. Have a nice day, people. And until next time, keep it smooth.